Italian artists fit so well within the global collections that showcase the top masters of the 20th century. This stunning painting by Fontana is a masterpiece of his Oli series. It really reveals his interest in the sculptural possibilities of paint. The reason why this is such an iconic painting is because it combines all the techniques that will be revealed in his later series, the Venezia series. The punctures, the reference to the sun, but also the oval shape. In the case of uh, Marino Marini, he was profoundly affected by the events of the Second World War, and we see a real change in the nature of his art. The relationship between the horse and rider has become one of conflict. There's a very interesting connection in the work of Marino Marini and Giorgio Morandi. They are both artists who, early in their careers, settled on a subject matter which they continued to evolve and work on throughout their careers. In the case of Morandi, it's still life and both of them were searching for the absolute, for the perfect realisation of that subject matter. The Oil on Canvas by Giorgio Morandi from 1952 features a yellow cloth which enabled him to bring a sense of texture and a sculptural quality to his painting. This wonderful burri comes from the collection of the late Stanley J. Seeger. Through Bury's groundbreaking approach, there is no doubt that he was laying the fundaments for the Arte Povera movement of the late 60s. Bury was immediately recognized in America and particularly also among other artists. In 1954, Rauschenberg started Combines, which is a direct response to the innovations he discovered through Bury. It's incredibly exciting to have such masterpieces on the market because they are timeless in terms of importance and quality.